Okay, ruler, settle down. Ruler School Gate Ruler content is brought to you by Max Level Gaming, where you can go to pre-order new sets as well as singles for all your Gate Ruler decks and needs. Special thanks to guest lecturer member Vite Raman. Thank you for your support. Class is in session. Hello rulers, welcome to Ruler School. My name is Emilio and today we're going to be talking about why you should be playing the Gate Ruler trading card game. Uh, don't panic that I'm not Jeremy. Uh, you're going to be seeing a lot more of me. Uh, I'll be covering all of the Gate Ruler content on the channel. Uh, today I just wanted to start out talking about why you should play, what it is, that kind of thing. Um, first things first, you'll want to check out the Gate Ruler official website. Uh, there's also the .eu which has an awesome deck builder I really recommend checking out. But uh, if you go here you can see <clears throat> the rule books, comprehensive rules coming soon. Uh, but it'll show you each of the rules for the rulers and what I mean by that is each ruler has its own unique rule set. Um, how the decks will be built, how they'll play out. Uh, you have Highlander, it's all one ofs. Um, Knights kind of like a standard. You have uh, lands, uh, you pay the cost of cards. Apprentice, you have no hand. You don't pay the cost for cards. You just drive them. You just play them for free. It's awesome. Uh, and on that note, if you go to Shameless Plug Max Level Gaming website, uh, you can pick up the starter decks for $12.99 a piece. Uh, it's very cheap and easy to get into this game. It takes about 10 minutes to learn and less than 30 bucks, and you and a friend are already going. Um, and that is one of the biggest draws to this game. It's very affordable. A lot of card games right now are very, very expensive. Uh, looking at you, Flesh and Blood. Um, you can get pretty much any deck for under $100. I think the most competitive deck in this game is like just over $100. Uh, if you look at the singles here, this is pretty much the, the best card in the game right now. And it's $8 a copy base rarity. Um, and it's not all cheap stuff uh, there is incentive for collectors for cracking more packs you, you will pull pretty much all of your play sets in about four boxes uh, to six boxes which is a case in this game but if we go high to low here you can see that uber rares are back da, 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 da. and yes we are out of stock out of, on uh, a lot of them they're in very high demand and low supply um, but yeah, this is just, you know, something nice for, for players to pull once they're done get their play sets. Um, for stores, this is awesome because you won't be stuck sitting on a bunch of product because everyone has their play sets after one case. Uh, makes it a lot easier to move. A lot of people will be going after these. They're very hard to get. Um, they aren't all this expensive either. If you like shiny things and you don't have a million dollars, you can see that some of the Ubers are, are much more affordable. Um, and what's really cool is that you have a guaranteed one per box legendary uber rare um, which are even cheaper if i can get to them yeah here's here's one here this is probably the most expensive one it's only 12 bucks um, and they look fantastic uh, if you like uber rares from force of will definitely recommend checking out this game there's quite a few of them i think we have like 25 or more in set one um, and just really awesome uh, and I'm, I'm rambling now but uh Another reason I really think you want to consider looking at this game is despite everything going on right now, um, there will be events coming up. Uh, we'll have GPs eventually, um, and pretty soon we're going to have um, tournaments at local game stores as well as exclusive promos. Uh, which incentivize players going out to their locals. Um, if your local game store does not support Gate Ruler, I definitely uh, recommend asking them to pick up the game. If they speak with their distributor, they should be able to get a box of free trial decks with uh, how to play mats. Um, this costs them nothing, it's totally free. Uh, and like I said, it takes about five minutes to learn the game. It really is that simple. Um, definitely have them check that out. And, um, <clears throat> Next, I really want to get into kind of the more subjective things, um, not so much objective reasons to play the game, just things that I like about it. Uh, the first thing is that this game is just a lot of fun. Uh, it is a damage check game, which I understand a lot of people do not like. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of them, uh, but I think this game has, has balanced it about as well as you can. Uh, I've talked about this a little bit on a, on a live stream on the channel, but... Um, the damage checks are very, very balanced. Most of the absolutely insane ones are either very situational or have a huge drawback. Um, 
the you really have to kind of play it for yourself to to really get the feel for it um but it is kind of like a a mix of buddy fight and force of will uh, if you've never played either of those games uh, i'm sorry the the games are very fast paced um they flow very well they don't really have a curve uh and the the centerpiece of your game and your deck building is the ruler um, the rulers are very very unique in what they do we're going to get a lot more of them in set two um, but they they limit how you can even deck build uh, which is really cool and unique to this game um, and it really incentivizes deck creativity which is something that I, I love even in set one where you only have three rulers you can build a dozen different decks and they're just all so fun um, Another thing I talked a little bit about before is, is the base rarities being cheap. That's just, I don't know, I, I love that. It, it's really cool to see. Um, da, 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 da. You can see here that the all of the commons, very cheap, uncommons, cheap, uh, three stars, cheap. Even some of the four stars are only a dollar or two. Um, and again, that's just awesome. Most of your meta impacting cards are very affordable um they're not going to break the bank at all uh, alice has the waifu tax unfortunately but what can you do about that um yeah and, and another thing i really really like uh on the topic of rulers is that um you'll notice that they are silhouettes and you might be thinking wow that's really lazy i can't believe they didn't put any art on the rulers uh, and that's because they want you to have custom rulers uh, they are tournament legal. Uh, of course, always check with your TO to make sure your specific ruler is okay. Um, but yeah, you can get custom design rulers totally fine. Uh, something I definitely recommend. You can usually get them around like 10 to 20 bucks depending on who's doing it. Uh, but it's a lot of fun and I can't think of another card game where your custom cards are legal to use. Uh, they really want the rulers to be a representation of the player and they, you know, they want you to put that on the cardboard. Um, and yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for now. Um, there are a lot more things that we're going to discuss in future videos. Uh, we're going to get more in depth about Uber Rares. Uh, we're going to be following the market pretty closely. Right now, there there aren't too many uh, stores selling singles, uh, but I do expect this to change. Um, we're getting orders from Italy, France, Singapore, all over. Uh, this game's growing very quickly. I, I do think you'll be seeing a lot more of it, uh, especially in a post pandemic world uh, so yeah if if anybody has any questions feel free to shoot me a message on facebook i'm very active on on all of the facebook groups there as well as the ruler school discord we do have a gate ruler uh, channel and you can also leave a comment below uh, let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future any suggestions you might have or any questions about anything i rambled about in the video uh, but yeah that's it um, this is emilio from ruler school signing off